As part of a plan contrived by Cao Cao, Chen Gong was made Liu Bei's strategist. From this time onward, Chen Gong and Liu Bei were to fight numerous battles together, working under Cao Cao. Before long, the two had grown to share the same feelings of resentment toward Cao Cao. Meanwhile, Cao Cao was preparing to face off against his eternal rival, Yuan Shao. Large shifts in power were beginning to take place, as if the land itself was seeking its next ruler. Meanwhile, in secret, Chen Gong had been plotting to further his ambitions. As a reward for successfully protecting Cao Cao from the rebels, Lord Liu Bei has been given more power. It is time for us to make our move for the sake of achieving our ambitions. As we have done with Dong Cheng, we must seek others to join our cause. We should approach those whose names appear on the letter and ask that they become our allies. It is true that Ma Teng and Sun Tzu's names were included. What can we say to Cao Cao to avoid suspicion? Brother, a scout has made a report. An army led by Sun Tzu in Zhang Dong is advancing on Shu Chung. But the majority of Cao Cao's forces have been deployed to Guangdu. So that's the chance they were waiting for, those petty opportunists. Well, well, to think they would strike from there, that gives us quite the opportunity ourselves. While avoiding their attack, we can set the scene for negotiations. Avoid their attack? If only it were that easy. Those dogs are coming to capture Shu Chung. And it's going to be hard stopping them, seeing how few men we've got. The enemy is far from home. They'll eventually need to stop and reform their ranks. That's when we must charge, rendering them immobile. I'd ask that you all simply follow my orders diligently. Lord Cao Cao's path of conquest causes defenseless peasants to be killed. It is not the path I desire. I would graciously ask that you join me in battle and help put an end to his ambitions. First, you ask me to listen to what you have to say, and then you spout this nonsense? As if I'd believe such talk. After all, you and your allies are working under Cao Cao, are you not? Sun Tzu's worries are understandable. However, Chen Gong has already betrayed Cao Cao to pursue his ambitions once. It is reasonable to think he would do so again. Precisely, Master Zhou Yu. You've always been quick. Now then, I suggest we retreat for the moment, and then rise up again together when the opportunity presents itself. What do you say? What should we do, Zhou Yu? If we stand here and do nothing, having taken advantage of the enemy's absence becomes meaningless. Give me some time. First, you need to show us that your actions don't contradict your words. After you've done so, then we'll start thinking about the future. If you say so, then I have no objections. Well then, I guess there's no need to remain here any longer. We should withdraw before Cao Cao returns. It seems we have conveyed our feelings, if only but a little. Yet, these are only the initial stages of our ambitions. We must take our next step, the next step forward. I have heard the reports. So, Sun Jian's son has defended Xu Chang, has he? I am impressed he could fight so well despite having so few men. Yet, to force the clan that is being called the next conquerors of Western Chu to retreat so easily. Just what exactly did you and your allies do? So it was correct to obey Chen Gong's strategy. Truth be told, we didn't do anything special. The key to our victory was simply taking a defensive stance. 
correct. Most likely, our prowess in battle instilled fear in the enemy. We have dealt quite, quite the devastating blow. They will not be able to recover for some time without a doubt. Oh, it is impressive that you were able to deal so much damage in such a short time. I would love to hear the details of your command at length. But of course. Yet, is it really wise? Have we the time, the time to be chatting so leisurely? Yuan Shao has most likely already begun his march southward. Chen Gong, you seem to be in top form. When you have secured victory at Guandu, make sure to report the details of the events at Yu Province in full. We can falsify the reports as much as we like. However, it will be difficult to make any further moves at Yu Province. We next need to act from a distant, slightly distant location. Lord Cao Cao has conducted a general inspection of Shu Zhang. Afterward, he returned to Guandu. Currently, the front lines of the anti Yuan Shao forces are in that region, so he likely will not be returning here soon. So then, what do we do next? Who are we supposed to make our ally? Among the forces that oppose Cao Cao were trying to contact Ma Tang, a man known as the Beast of Xi Liang. However, the envoy that I had sent to him has fled and returned back here. It seems he is enraged, utterly enraged at us for ruining Dong Cheng's plan. We must do whatever we can to convey to him our true intentions. Master Ma Tang is a fierce officer who made a name for himself after defeating the Chiang tribe. A man like him would probably just ignore officers of Cao Cao. I can't imagine he'd listen to us. Not only that, Ma Tang's son is the mighty warrior known as Ma Chao the Splendid. There's no way they'll give us their ear. For men of such stature, the best course of action is defeating them on the battlefield. If we can best them in head-to-head -head battle, they will definitely, most definitely hear us out. With my strategy and your brawn, we will surely, most surely subjugate Master Ma Tang. And this victory shall bring us one step closer toward achieving our grand ambitions. At last, a chance to have a leisurely chat. The reason we ruined Dong Cheng's plan is simple. It was careless, all too careless. Even if his plan was careless, what reason did you have to hand Dong Cheng over to Cao Cao? If you have similar ambitions, why not make him your ally? Dong Cheng had made Cao Cao aware of his strong disdain for him. If we had made him an ally, he would have also made our plans more dangerous, much more dangerous. Making Cao Cao aware of his disdain for him. How are you any different? Cao Cao probably already has his eye on you. Having Dong Chong around wouldn't make things any more dangerous. I'll handle the situation by explaining that by defeating you in this battle, I have quelled the rebellion. Now then, I'd ask you to withdraw from the battlefield and leave matters to me. Though it is true, he is more likely to believe your story rather than Dong Chong's. If the goal is defeating Cao Cao, I will do whatever I can. Now then, what specifically would you have me do? Cao Cao is a formidable force. We are unable to defeat him by ourselves. When the time comes, we would ask that you rise up along with us and serve us with your prowess on the battlefield. Rely on us as warriors. I understand. When your time of need comes, I shall wield my Spear of Justice and eliminate Cao Cao! To add the strength of the men of Liang Province to our own. How reassuring. Reassuring indeed. 
the day when we defeat Cao Cao is almost upon us.